Spill Kit Demonstration. When a spill occurs, ensure your own safety first. Identify the liquid and wear the appropriate PPE. If it is safe to do so, isolate or control the flow of liquid. This may be as simple as rolling a drum over or turning off a valve. Place the mini booms around the spill to create a barrier. This is a simple step that has little risk of contact with the liquid and helps to contain the spill. If you are unsure of the liquid, this is a safe containment method until identification is confirmed. If more than one mini boom is required to contain the spill, overlap each mini boom by 300 millimeters. Press the mini boom to the surface firmly to ensure there are no gaps or breaches. Mini booms can also be used to block drains or divert direction of a spill away from a drain. Absorbent pads. Pads are used for absorbing the bulk of the spill inside the perimeter of the mini booms or may be laid down to reduce the risk of slipping. Spill Doctor absorbent pads will absorb up to 20 times their own weight in liquid. Starting at the perimeter of the spill, slightly overlap the pads and work towards the center until the entire area is covered. Leave the pads in position until they are fully saturated or have completely absorbed the spill. Once the mini boom and pads have absorbed the spill, place them in the approved heavy duty polyethylene contaminated waste disposal bag. All contaminated material, including mini booms, pads, and Optisorb 40, can be disposed of in these bags. Floor absorbent. The Spill Doctor Optisorb 40 is a proven effective and efficient floor absorbent. It contains both mineral and organic absorbents and contains naturally occurring oil-eating microbes which help break down oil waste. Optisorb 40 will absorb any remaining spill residue from the surface and unlike other brands will leave a smooth, clean and non-slip finish. Using enough Optisorb 40 to cover the area of the spill, create a mound around the perimeter of the spill and then sweep towards the centre of the spill using a broom. Sweep the Optisorb 40 back and forth over the entire area of the spill, then sweep into a pile. Collect the used Optisorb 40 and place in the approved waste disposal bag. Contaminated Waste Disposal Bag Be mindful of the weight of the bag and never fill more than half full. Use the included bag tie or a Ziploc to seal off the neck of the bag to prevent the absorbent material escaping the bag. It is good practice to clearly mark the waste disposal bag indicating the type of spill that was absorbed. Remember, you should only ever dispose of contaminated material in a method approved by your council or the EPA. All soiled PPE should be disposed of correctly and replaced or cleaned and returned to the spill kit. Replacement items. All Spill Doctor spill kits contain the following items. and also have a contents checklist, so you'll always know what should be in your spill kit. Remember, it is everyone's responsibility to respond to a spill, and you should always report a spill, so management can look at ways of avoiding another incident. Any items used from the spill kit must be reordered and replaced. An empty spill kit can mean you're unable to respond appropriately to another spill situation. Want to ask Spill Doctor about an ongoing spill kit maintenance program to keep your kits ready for immediate use. We trust that this video has helped you understand how to use your Spill Doctor spill kit. And remember, for more information, additional training and replacement items, contact your local Spill Doctor representative. This video is intended as a guide only. If ever in doubt when confronted with a spill situation, we would encourage you to dial 000 for Fire Brigade assistance.